வெல்கம் டு ஜியோகிரபி சமச்சீர் சிலபஸ் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு கிளாஸ் எயிட் ஜியோகிரபி லெசன் த்ரீ பார்ட் ஒன் ஹைட்ரோலஜிக் சைக்கிள் ஹைட்ரோ டினோட்ஸ் வாட்டர் வி ஆல் நோ தட் ஹைட்ரோலஜிக் சைக்கிள் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் த வாட்டர் சைக்கிள் வாட்டர் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் இயர்த் ஆல் பிளான்ஸ் அண்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் நீட் வாட்டர் ஃபார் சர்வைவல் அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் ட்ரிங்கிங் water is required for domestic agriculture industrial purposes etc water is very essential for carrying out almost all economic activities so water is an unavoidable or indispensable element without which life form on the earth is not at all possible we all know that nearly 70 percentage of the earth's surface is covered with water and 97.2 percentage of the 70 percentage as in oceans and the balance of 2.8 percentage only fresh water and this fresh water is found in, in the form of glaciers snow and permafrost in the polar ice caps in ground water in lakes swamps and river and rivers now let us see about the distribution of water on our earth surface of the total water found on the earth surface 97.2 percentage of the water is salt water which is found in oceans so the balance 2.8 percentage is fresh water and this fresh water is in the form of ground water which accounts for 30.1 percentage of this 2.8 percentage ice caps and glaciers which constitute 68.7 percentage of this 2.8 percentage and only 0.9 percentage is found in other forms surface water 0.30 percentage and this surface water is found in lakes swamps and rivers so is it not very precious to conserve water yes so here we can see briefly salt water 97.2 percentage fresh water 2.8 percentage after this 2.8 percentage 2.2 percent surface water 0.6% ground water out of 2.2% of surface water 2.15% is in glaciers and ice caps 0.01% in lakes and streams and remaining 0.04% is in other forms 0.25% of total ground water 0.6% can be economically extracted with the present drilling technology so this water has to meet so much of huge growing population hydrology hydrology is a science which deals with various aspects of water such as its occurrence distribution movement and properties on the planet earth availability of water on the earth is not uniform water is unevenly distributed on our earth surface some places are very rich in water resources while some other places are poor in water resources hydrologic cycle hydrologic cycle is a global sun driven process water is transported from oceans to atmosphere from atmosphere to land and from land back to oceans it can be considered as a closed system for the earth as the quantity of water involved in the cycle is invariable though its distribution varies over space and time the hydrologic cycle describes the circulation of water from ocean and other watery surfaces to the atmosphere and to the land again a major source of atmospheric water vapor is evaporation from oceans the hydrologic cycle is an interactive system water in the atmosphere in the ocean on land and underground is linked and changing one modifies the others just imagine a bucket with a hole in the bottom the bucket holds all the water on the earth surface water and water in the ground or water in the atmosphere and this water can escape just like the drops you see leaving the bucket here if left undisturbed the bucket would soon be empty in order to keep the water level in the bucket constant the same amount of water that leaves the bucket should return back to the bucket in order to maintain the level the same is happening on our earth in the form of water cycle
evaporation takes place from the surface water and transpiration from plants. So right from the small class, we have been learning about evaporation. What is evaporation? Water converting into water vapor is called as evaporation. And here, this evaporation takes place because of the heat energy from the sun. And what is transpiration? The water vapor released from leaf pores is called as transpiration. The roots absorb the water and minerals from the soil and the water is transferred or transported to the leaves. Water vapor gets condensed at higher altitudes by condensation, nuclei and form clouds, resulting in droplet growth. Since water plays a major role in weather and climate, it is important to understand the hydrologic cycle. The change in one component of this water cycle can affect weather. For example, a decrease in the amount of cloud cover over land during a day will allow more solar energy to reach the surface and warm the ground and the atmosphere above. The clouds melt and sometimes burst, resulting in precipitation of different forms. So, when the clouds reach the saturation point and when the water particles in the cloud becomes heavy and when it cannot hold further, it bursts and it forms the water particles, they come down in the form of precipitation. A part of water from precipitation flows over the land is called runoff and the other part infiltrates into the soil which builds up the groundwater. Hydrology cycle is the circulation of water. It is a continuous process. It takes place naturally. The hydrologic cycle begins with the evaporation of water from the surface of the ocean. As moist air is lifted, it cools and water vapor condenses to form clouds. Moisture is transported around the globe until it returns to the surface as precipitation. Once the water reaches the ground, one of the two processes may occur. Some of the water may evaporate back into atmosphere or the water may penetrate the surface and become groundwater. Groundwater either seeps its way into the oceans, rivers and streams or is released back into the atmosphere through transpiration. The balance of water that remains on the Earth's surface is runoff, which empties into lakes, rivers and streams and is carried back to oceans where the cycle begins once again. Like my video, give me a feedback in the comment section, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.